I've got a brand new creation for you guys. It's a PlayStation 4 controller, except with one very important difference. Oh wait, I took that out. Just kidding. Okay. On this controller, when you go left, you go right. When you go right, you go left. That's because this controller has been modified so I can play any game in mirror mode. Right, left. Same thing with the camera. See the HUD there on the left? A lot of people like are confused about what mirror mode is for. Well, basically just, obviously it mirrors the entire game world. So, um, you can, like, it, it gives more uh, life to the game. Like, you can play it again and have a bit of a challenge trying to figure out where exactly you're supposed to go. See, here we're coming, we're going down to the left now, uh, instead of going to the right. Uh, the only problem is that the D-pad, the directional pad, when you go right, it goes to the... It's it's reversed, but it's not that big of a deal, really. You can figure out what you're supposed to press without having to look at the HUD. Since I, I usually play the game with the HUD off sometimes, yeah. So basically this works for uh, any PS4 game, also PS3, because uh, if you connect it with a USB cable, it will work on PS3. And I guess you could use it on PC too, but then again, with PC, you have more free reign on uh, uh, readjusting the control controls. Uh, there is an option in the PS4 menu to actually reassign buttons, but there was no way to uh, invert the X axis on both uh, on both sticks. Someone asked me that, and like, seriously, I probably... I'd be pretty stupid if I didn't uh, check that first before I decided to rip apart a PS3 controller. I'm trying to keep- I'm trying to aim and keep it on screen at the same time. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, obviously like Joel, he aims with like his left hand and he's like- he's left- everyone's left-handed now. Uh, actually interesting thing, in- the beta version of uh, The Last of Us, Joel keeps his guns on the right side and he keeps his uh, melee weapons on the left side. So this is kind of some kind of beta recreation thing. Oh, I love that animation. Why doesn't it happen more often? Oh. So uh, I'll show you the insides. Basically what I did was I severed the left and right connections on both analog sticks which should be showing on screen right now. And then I soldered uh, I soldered some wires that go from the analog stick connections to the back of the board onto the opposite, uh, the opposite axis or whatever. And it took a lot of fiddling around and fixing shit, but I finally got it to work. And actually, when, when I put it all together and I moved left on both sticks, I couldn't move uh, completely left at full speed, so I had to, <laughs> sorry but I had to actually s use my soldering iron and melt the plastic away so that I could, <laughs> I could move the stick further and that, that seemed to have fixed it, so <laughs> it's a bit of a, an ass to create, I probably won't ever make one again because it was so painful to create, but yeah, uh, so that's my little show and tell of what I just made, uh, like a week ago. So yeah, uh, catch you next time on whatever crazy thing that I make next. Here's a more cemented example. It's turning left down the famous PT hallway. Whoa.